What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Lil Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and today we are on Season 6, Episode 1 of Fear the Walking Dead. Um, y'all been asking if I were going to do reactions to it at the time, which was anything before last month. I didn't actually watch the show. Um, I was not a big fan of it. Um, at f back when I started it, I stopped watching around season 2, episode 10. It just wasn't for me, and I think that was because I kept comparing it to the main show. So, and it, it's never going to be like the main show. So, I had to go back into it. I started from the beginning, and I went into it of the mindset of watching it for its own thing. And the first, um, I really liked it the second time around. There was still certain episodes and certain character decisions that I remember not liking and I still don't like them, but I got past those points and it was actually really good. The ending of season two was good where how Chris died, I was like shocked. That was so dark and it, like, cause he was one of the characters that was making me mad with his decisions and why he was kept trying to hurt Madison and I'm like, what is wrong with this dude? And I, I, his story arc is one I still don't think I understand fully and I probably won't until I rewatch it a few times, but his death, and what it did to Travis was, it was insane. It, and it was so quick, and it was brutal, and it was just so dark. And then, what, three episodes later, Travis dies in episode two of season three? And I was like, I literally screamed, like, not screamed, but I was like, I was like, I just, like, I was like 6 a.m. And I was like, I was up, I'm like, let me just watch Fear the Walking Dead. Turned on episode two, Travis gets shot in like the first 30 seconds and falls off the plane. I was literally like, what the fuck? Like, I just screamed it out loud. Um, I was just like, I was in shock. I can't be as loud as I normally am because I'm not at home. If you haven't noticed, this is not my setup. I'm at my mom's house visiting, so I gotta have some, some manners, um, and house rules here. Ugh. But, uh, what else? Um, season three was actually really good. I was kind of sad Ophelia died. Um, some deaths I knew already. Like, I knew Travis died and I knew Chris died. I didn't know how they died. So that was shocker. That's why mainly why I didn't react to it because I already knew things because I was following it on Twitter. Like just the fans, I follow a lot of Walking Dead people. Sometimes like big moments like that happen and they would tweet their anger. Um, so I knew Madison died or y'all said she was like out in the open. Um, I knew Nick died. I didn't know about Ophelia. Nobody ever really talked about her. So I didn't know what happened to her, but I seen she died. I was sad. I never knew what happened to Daniel. I see he's still alive. And then they introduced all these new characters in season four when Morgan came. Uh, John, the gunslinger, um, his wife, um, Laura. Laura, I think her name is. Um, then we got Althea, Althea um, Al. We got. Um, is that everybody? I feel like I'm missing somebody. I don't know. I know Alicia Stram, Morgan. Oh, we met uh, the truckers, um, w Wendell and Sarah. Um, we have Luciana. She's my favorite. Her and Alicia and Morgan and Stray. Actually, I like them really all. I just don't like Charlie. How do they make her a main character after she went and shot and killed Nick? I would have killed that little girl if that was my sibling. But one of those character decisions, I thought um, one through four A was really, really good. Certain episodes aside, certain character decisions aside, I thought it was pretty good. 4B, I wasn't a fan of. That's when they started, again, incorporating All Life is Precious Morgan. Um, wasn't a big fan of that. And then they continued that through season five. And the part of me is because they drug it out and it started to feel like Walking Dead, what it does sometimes where it drags storylines out, like the black woman with the dreads in season four. She came and was killing people who was going to the boxes. And they kept leaving her alive, kept trying to help her. And she, I'm like, why? She's, you, eventually she has to die. You guys have to let her die. You have to kill her. And not all life is precious crap does not work. So they let her live. She did damage. She poisoned them. They, she eventually died, saved the day. Morgan got messed up because he didn't want to kill. Whatever, it worked out. 
season five, it started out cool. We had the contaminated zombies from the nuclear reaction. They had the mystery of what was going on in that area. They couldn't get out. The plane crashed. I liked it. We had the CRM lady, um, Isabel, come and she kidnapped Al. I was really into that story, even though it was just one episode. Um, I thought all that was good, and then it got monotonous, and like we're on episode seven, and they're still trying to build this dang plane. They always found a reason to prolong it until the mid-season finale, and like, woo, I'm like, okay, that was kind of drug out and uh, got boring. And then the film, I didn't like the documentary style. I'm not a fan. I can see why you guys were complaining about season five, and I didn't like the back half at all. The way they just let um, Bull come in, take their community, and harass them like and you guys are just all life is precious like come on really you can't not go through this world and kill and it doesn't make for great storytelling i was not a fan anyway i binged all this in a month so i'm on season six episode one going in with a fresh mind i didn't like season five but i still i remember what the earlier seasons was like and i think once they get past this all life is precious crap it can be really good virginia is an interesting character She's something, but she's an interesting character. So, um, I'm going to go into this reaction. Sorry, I just wanted to guys, give you guys a little bit of background information about how I felt about this show, because I've never done a reaction to this show. Um, I know you guys usually look forward to my early reactions. I was not able to do that today, so I'm watching it after everybody else. But um, you can expect earlier reactions, I mean, as early as I can get um, in the future. So we're going to get into this with that being said. The end is the beginning. Full reaction is on Patreon. We won't be together anymore, but you will be alive. That too. You're going to let Virginia separate y'all? We'll die too. Annoying. Okay, went back, got y'all food, cleared this place to stay here. And if Virginia wanted him dead, why didn't she just finish him off? She could have waited and saw the walkers kill him. This is the bounty hunter guy from the trailer. Someone there? I did watch the I trailer. I repeat, there's someone there. Oh, thank God. Please, you gotta help me. They've been after me for days. Ooh. I'm not really sure. Well, it appears you've lost it. This guy already seemed shady. I would've, mm. like, ran. I'm like, uh, not today. Keep it over there. I want your damn beans, sir. What's in them? Poison, probably. He was waiting for you. Uh, that key goes to. Uh, easy there, friend. Easy. Damn hell's been on my ass since Laredo. Good boy, Rufus. Good boy. Rufus? You know his name? Hint, hint. Boy, my He's dog. My dog. <laughs> oh. So the dog chases people. Oh. Is Tabasco Walter? So what is he like a bloodhound? So the dog chases him and lures him to him. That's genius. What are you gonna do with that head, though? It's like a governor thing, you got a fish tank, like... I got a job for you. You will have to wait. And how did I you deliver the man from Galveston? I could have burned a lot of gas getting down there. I'll make sure you never want for it again. Who are you looking for? A man named Morgan Jones. Is Mr. Jones dead or alive? But you don't know what he looks like or anything. Like, so how are you just gonna find somebody you don't know? Like, huh? He's gonna go around asking people if they're Morgan? Morgan. Ah, the cliffhanger we've all been waiting to explore. How did he get out of there? How long has...
has it been? Time jump? Who wrote this? Andy Lee? Oh, Virginia. Oh, shit. There are people. We're just patrolling the freaking roads. That must be annoying because they're going to try to kill him. Highwayman 2.0. Morgan. Who deserves better? Is all life still precious, Morgan? That's new. I'm right here. Should've just let it go, now your wound's open. I've never seen someone get mad because a walker ignored them. Well, obviously it hasn't been too long since someone hasn't healed. So safe to say a couple days. Well, but his face is grown out. Mm, I don't know. That doesn't, as a person who grows a beard, that doesn't just grow in a couple days. So it's been like a month or so, but why is his wound still? He's smart enough to know his coordinates. I can barely read a compass. Oh, any bullets? Nada. But you don't need that. All life is precious, right? Let's see if he changes his view on the world. I hope he does because we already explored in season six of the main show. It doesn't work. And season seven. It doesn't work. You can't remain peaceful because other people just will not let you. No matter how good of a person you are, it doesn't matter. People are going to play on that weakness. You know, your friends and family are gone and you're stuck living like this. Is all life really that precious, Morgan? All of them? They want nothing to do with you, sir. Oh, I'm living, 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 living. Sorry. He's like, he's like, why did that walker ignore you? Morgan immune to the zombies? How long does it look like that? Six weeks. Six weeks. Okay, so it's six weeks. A month and a half. I lost track of time. I'm really digging the Rick Grimes beard he got going on here. Yeah, I told you I don't want any. It makes him look a lot more wiser. I need a vision. My wife's favorite. He'll be keeping it. Save them for your wife. So all lives are precious but yours. Come on, Morgan. Get it together. So he's rec he recognizes that dog. So he's our... Oh, oh, Walker giving away his location. Oh, man. He's in there. Fella didn't eat Mr. Jones, Rufus. So what is he smelling? He did a good job. I mean, he does a good job. He really cuts them open to see if Warren's dead. Oh, he has him sketch him. Have you seen this man? Dead or alive. If he were alive, he wouldn't be alone. He would lost quite a bit of blood. Don't worry, I'm looking for him. You answer my question, Clark. This is part of the social contract. I say hello, you say hello back. I ask a question, you answer it before asking one of your own. Call him courtesy, asshole. Why is my dog so intriguing? He's your dog, buddy. Was anyone else in there with you? Nope. Oh, this guy's not a convincing liar. I imagine Morgan would have gotten up and walked away at this point. Fingers crossed. Okay. That damn bloodhound. He had to leave something behind. My dog was compelled hither, because this blanket holds the scent of the man I've been looking for. So he's dead then. Right too. This 
guy is terrifying. Surely your bloodhound would have smelled him if he was in one of our closets. This guy, I don't know if he's gonna kill somebody like in a second or if he's just, I don't know. I, I, he's such an interesting character, so compelling. I wanna know more, but I'm terrified of him at the same time. 